Hi class two, I'm introducing you to one of my hens today. This is Edisa, she's going mad. I've just given her some lettuce to eat from my garden and they live at the bottom of my garden in a hen house just here and they lay eggs for me every single day. I'm really lucky, fresh chicken eggs every morning. They've got lots of water to eat and some chicken corn and we give them lettuce to eat and lots of vegetable scraps so they're very happy chickens. Her sister is on her nest at the moment hopefully laying us an egg. Hi again. So the reason I took you to visit my hens this morning was because I wanted to share this story with you called Handa's Hen. Can you remember me and Handa in a different story that we might have read? Can you remember a story called Handa's Surprise? And she has a basket of fruit on her head and all the different African animals come along and they each steal a piece of fruit each and she goes to visit her friend Akeo. Well, you're going to meet some African animals in this story too, some different ones. Shall we have a look? Handa's grandma had one black hen and her name was Mondi. And every morning, Handa gave Mondi her breakfast. She's feeding her some corn just there, which is what I feed to my chickens every morning. And there she is. She's a beautiful big hen, isn't she? She's much bigger than my hens. One day, Mondi didn't come for her food. Grandma called Handa. Can you see Mondi? No, said Grandma, but I can see your friend, Akeo. Akeo, said Handa. Help me find Mondi. There they are. See the lovely village where they live with mud huts. Off they go. I think Mondi must be Handa's favourite hen. Handa and Akeo hunted round the hen house. Look, two fluttering butterflies, said Akeo. But where's Mondi, said Handa. Wow, look how big those butterflies are. Have you got butterflies flying around your garden? Have you seen any today? I bet they're not as big as those butterflies, are they? They peered under a grain store. So a grain store is where families keep their grain outside and they use the grain to grind and make flour or they might use the grain to feed their chickens. And there's a woman just right there, can you see? And I think she's laying out some corn to dry in the sun. They're all cooking in African villages in Kenya and places like Uganda. All the cooking is done outside. Oh no, look what's in the grain store. Shh. Three stripy mice, said Akeo. But where's Mondi? What do you think those naughty mice are doing? They might be stealing some of the grain for their lunch. They peeped behind some clay pots. I can see four lizards, said Akeo. But where's Mondi, said Hanna, Hunda. And there's the pots, which I think they use to store water once they've boiled it and made it safe to drink. That's where they keep their fresh water, look. And there's four beautiful bright lizards basking in the sunshine. Have you ever seen any lizards? We don't tend to see lizards in, in England. They searched around some flowering trees. Five beautiful sunbirds, said Akeo. But where's Mondi, said Handa. I'm looking in the trees, look. I'm peeping through the trees. Can you see their faces? And can you see those gorgeous birds? Aren't they beautiful colours? No wonder they're called sunbirds. They're sunny, aren't they, like the sunshine? They looked in the long, waving grass. Six jumpy crickets, said Akeo. Let's catch them. That sounds fun, doesn't it? I want to find Mondi, said Handa. Can you count the six crickets just there in the grass? When you go for a walk, see if you can find crickets, because we do have crickets in England. Have to search in the long, wavy grass, see if you can find any, and let me know if you do. In Uganda, crickets are a delicacy, which means they quite like to eat them because they're full of protein, so they're quite healthy to eat. They went all the way down to the water hole. Baby bullfrog, said Akeo. There are, how many? How many can you count? There's seven bullfrogs just there. And what do you think those bullfrogs might be looking to have for their lunch? What can you see above their heads? I think they might be thinking about catching some flies for their lunch. But where's... Oh, look! 
footprints, said Handa. You see the footprints. Do you think they belong to Mondi the chicken? Let's follow the footprints to find out. They followed the footprints and they found... Let's have a look. Ah, only spoonbills, said Handa. Seven. Is she right? Are there seven there? No. Eight. But where, oh where, is Mondi? Why do you think they're called spoonbills? Have a look at their beaks. What shape are they? Well, they're called spoonbills because their beaks are the shape of spoons. That makes them really useful for scooping up their food from the bottom of ponds or lakes. Just there. I hope she's not been swallowed by a spoonbill or eaten by a lion, said Akeo. I imagine a spoonbill probably could eat a chicken because they're really big, aren't they? Really big. They're feeling really sad. So they went back towards Grandma's. And on the way, they see nine shiny starlings. We have starlings in our country, in, the, in England. But our starlings aren't bright and sunny and beautiful like these birds. Ours are a sort of a black, black shiny colour. Oh, listen, said Handa. Cheep, 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 cheep. What's that? Cheep, cheep. It's coming from under the bush. Shall we peep? What do you think is under the bush? Ha <laughs> ha, how lovely. Look, what are they? That's where Mondi's been. She's been hatching out some chicks. You see the broken eggs where they've come from. She's been sitting on her nest and she's got how many baby chicks has she got out? <laughs> That's right, she's hatched ten baby chicks. No wonder she went missing. Handa, Akeo, Mondi and the chicks skipped happily back to Grandma's house and they scurried back along that lovely red African road back to Grandma's house where they all had a very late breakfast. What are they having for breakfast? They're having some nice cool water from one of their water pots which we saw with the lizards on and some mangoes. And I think they're having maybe some posho or some bread. Posho is porridge that they eat. And there is a really, really proud mummy hen with her ten beautiful chicks looking really happy with herself. Did you enjoy that story? Did you like meeting all the different animals? Can you remember which animals we saw? It's a little reminder. Which ones did you like the best? I like the lizards, but I also really like those spoonbills as well, because I think they're fascinating with their strange shaped beaks. Well, I hope you really enjoyed that story. Maybe you could go out and see what you've got living in your garden today. I shall find a lovely story to read again soon. And in the meantime, take care, have a lovely day and lots of love. Bye.